مرحبا طلاب بمحاضرتنا الأولى طبعا محاضراتنا مشتقة من كتاب New Hideway Plus for Beginner At first we will explain students book So the first lecture talks about question specifically with why question where which is asked about place or location so here uh, we have conversation Pablo and Ahmed Pablo where are you from Ahmed Ahmed I'm from Egypt where are you from Pablo I'm from Spain from Barcelona so here as we uh, can recognize uh, Pablo uses the present symbol when we talk about origin uh, or our place uh, we can use a present symbol but when someone asked us about uh, uh, where, uh, for example, where, where, uh, where, uh, or where, where uh, you born, or when, where uh, you born, we should be use a uh, symbol, uh, past symbol. Okay. So when we talk about origin, we use present symbol. But if someone asked us about our birth or our place uh, when we are birth, we use a uh, past symbol. Find the country on the map. Here we can uh, recognize uh, countries like Australia, Brazil, China, Egypt, France, Italy, Hungary, Japan, Russia, Spain, Saudi Arabia. So a question, where is he from or where is she from? So when we ask here, uh, here we use R because you is considered as a plural. Uh, we use here uh, sh we should be use uh, here auxiliary verb uh, y question and then uh, followed by r uh, is um, auxiliary verb as we know where is here is a, a, a abbreviation of uh, auxiliary verb is so where is because the subject is singular we use is where is uh, he from so is the question can believe the sentences about uh, the people the first one his name is Kevin he's from the United States so his name is considered as a subject is is considered as a verb so his name is the subject his should be followed by noun okay his lazimit baha ism and he a possessive pronoun he lazimit tamaluk هنا ال is هي auxiliary verb which considers the main verb اللي تعتبر هي المين verb هنا في his names Kevin هي هنا اللي هي هي ال subject هي is considered his as a subject is auxiliary verb which here refer or act as a main verb from the United States here we mention the because the United States is plural his name is Laszlo. He's from Hungary. Uh, so his for female. His uh, possessive pronoun for female. Uh, sorry for uh, male. His uh, is a possessive pronoun for male. While her possessive pronoun for female. Her name's Karima. She's uh, from Egypt. So she is a subject which is a pronoun uh, refers to the female where he is a subject uh, which is a pronoun refers to the male her name's Tatina she's from Russia her name's Rosalie she's from Brazil his name's Simon he's from England his name's Young he's from China her name's Haley she's from Australia So, cities and countries. Where are the cities? Ask and answer. Where is Barcelona? It's in Spain. Okay, here we have Barcelona, Beijing, Moscow, Cairo, Los Angeles, So Pablo, Paulo, Sydney, Damascus, uh, Budapest, London. So, where is Barcelona? It's in Spain. Where is Beijing? It's in China. Where is Moscow? It's in Russia. Where is Cairo? It's in Egypt. Where is Los Angeles? It's in the United States. Where is Sao Paulo? It's in Brazil. 
where is Sydney? It's in Australia. Where is Damascus? It's in Syria. Where is Budapest? It's in Hungary. Where is London? It's in England. So here, uh, when we ask about a place, we use where. Auxiliary verb is because uh, the city is considered as a singular. It refers to the city. And uh, preposition uh, of uh, place, we can use it uh, when we uh, talk about a place. So it's me in Barcelona in Spain. So here, uh, if someone wa uh, went to ask, what's his name? His name's Rashid. Where is he from? He's from Oman, from Muscat. So when we ask uh, about uh, objects or specific things, we can use what. But when we ask about a place, we use where. So what is here a uh, why question, uh, auxiliary verb, his name is the subject. So his name, the subject, is auxiliary verb Rashid, uh, Rashid uh, it's referred or it's answered by what. Where is he from? Uh, he, the subject, uh, is auxiliary verb from preposition where, which is answered by Oman. Where is he from? Uh, he's from Oman, from Muscat. The same. What's her name? Her name's Shufi. Where is she from? She's from Beijing. Uh, here we use she because uh, she uh, female. Why we use he refer to the male. What's his name? His name's Adam. Okay, where's he from? He's from Sydney. Yes. What's his name? His name's Andre. Where's he from? He's from Russia. Here we have a conversation between Bruno and Rosalie. Questions and answers. Listen and complete the conversation. Practice it. Rosalie, hello, I'm Rosalie. So when we uh, introduce ourselves, we use a present simple. Uh, when we talk about age, our characters, our colors, what we like, all these we can uh, express it or introduce it by simple present. So, uh, present simple, sorry. I'm Rosalie. What's your name? So when she asked him, she used a present symbol, a pronoun. My name is Bruno. My uh, is a possessive pronoun. Uh, my name's. Yani, Lamir Temeluk El Yani. It's me. My name is Bruno. Hello, Bruno. Where are you from? Okay. Uh, where are you from? She asked him about uh, his origin. I'm from Brazil. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Brazil too. I'm from Sao Paulo. Really? I'm from Sao pa uh, Paulo too. Oh, nice to meet you, Bruno. I'm from Brazil. But now, مثل, uh, مثل, تعيش مكان معين آخر. Yes. Much the questions and answers. So here we have a list of questions and here we have a list of answers. Where are you from? Here the answer D. So I'm from Brazil. What's her name? The answer F. Her name's Tina. What's his name? The answer A, his name's Bruno. Where's he from? The answer B, he's from Sao Paulo. What's this in English? The answer is G, it's a computer. How are you? The answer E, fine, thanks. Where is Montreal? C, it's in Canada. So here the, uh, the question about place, we can recognize uh, by the answer if we have here place. Uh, what ask about uh, uh, objects, uh, specific thing, and so on. 
while who uh, who ask about manner how are you fine thank you uh, ask about manner way check it uh, take the correct sentence my name mika my name is mika the second one is is correct the second one is correct because the first one doesn't have a main verb uh, here we have subject my name is is considered uh, as a main verb or auxiliary verb is the next one what's his name what's his name the second one is correct because here we have uh, why question auxiliary verb his name is considered the subject while here what auxiliary verb he auxiliary verb and the name which is wrong we couldn't have a uh, two auxiliary verb in uh, one sentence uh, and like that okay we can use uh, for example have been but here we couldn't use what is and he is okay which is considered wrong what's his name what's her name kevin kevin as we know kevin refers to the male uh, name so her uh, is a possessive pronoun of female while his possessive pronoun of male so what's his name kevin is correct he's from spain he's from spain he is from spain so considers uh, as a, a correct answer because his subject is auxiliary verb which here he considers as the main verb from preposition where spain and out of country which is considered here adverb of place so here he uh, a subject a verb and then the complement while here we don't have any uh, auxiliary verb or main verb is uh, followed by preposition uh, and uh, it should be followed by noun so here uh, the sentence is wrong where is she from where is she from the same here we don't have uh, any main verb here we have the main verb uh, is auxiliary verb is what's her name what's she name here uh, the sentence is correct why because here have uh, we have a why question auxiliary verb and her name the subject while here uh, why question auxiliary verb or main verb she name she is a pronoun of subject while here pronoun of possessive uh, pro possessive pronoun followed by noun while here pronoun we couldn't or it, uh, it uh, doesn't followed by a uh, noun so here wrong so here we have a paragraph and questions about this paragraph this is a photograph of cloud uh, cloud and holly devil from montreal in canada they are on holiday in, in new york city holly is from canada and cloud is from france they are married holly is a teacher her school is in the center of montreal Cloud is a doctor, uh, his hospital is in the center of uh, Montreal too. So here we have the question, complete the sentences. Holly is from Montreal in Canada, which is correct. She is a doctor or teacher, she is a teacher. Her school is in the center of Montreal. Cloud is from France, okay, here, Cloud. Uh, is from France he's a doctor his hospital is in the center of Montreal they are in New York they are married so here we have uh, some uh, sentence we can complete it by uh, by depending on our reading of paragraph here we can uh, recognize the adjectives we have positive adjectives and negative adjectives awful which is considered the negative adjective whether is noun of uh, whether in the atmosphere so oh no we can recognize the correct adjective by the face here so oh no 
or no uh, refer to the uh, negative expression look at the weather oh it's awful so uh, since we have a uh, negative expression uh, the adjective should be also negative really good hamburger here the adjective and uh, noun adjective noun so here the adjective uh, refer to the positive uh, situation wow look at my burger it's fantastic so here we can recognize the uh, um, positive expression my hamburger is really good too fantastic building what's this building so here fantastic it's the empire state building it's fantastic so here we use fantastic because here we have uh, something or a description positive description about this building beautiful look wow so here we have positive expression wow look at central park it's beautiful okay when we uh, have or when we recognize negative expression we can use negative um, adjective when we recognize a uh, positive expression we can use um, positive adjective this is little Becky she's two this is little <coughs> Becky she's two when we talk about uh, someone or when we can refer to someone uh, that near of us we use this <coughs> two her name's Naomi or Naomi she's seven He's Nathan, so three, he's Nathan, he's 15, tomorrow, four, how old is she, she's 26, this is Jeremy, he's 90, is 29, nearly 30, okay, هذا كل ما يتعلق بمحاضرتنا آه إن شاء الله تكون وصلتكم المادة وأي سؤال تقدرون تدزوه على الكلاس روم شكرا لكم